Hey guys, it's me Trevor and today I am doing a art beginner tip thing. It's going to be a new series I'm starting called Trevor's Tips because why not? It's going to be a series now. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start just naming off some of my favorite stuff. I'm going to show you my favorite stuff. Um, one of the, Some of the things I do not have with me, but I will mention in this video, and I might insert a picture um, or something, and I'll have everything that I um, talk about in this video down below. Probably not everything, but a good bit of things. So first off, I'm going to start off with some of my favorite sketchbooks that I ever have had. I'm going to show you all... Um, my favorite mixed media sketchbook is by Canson in the Extra Large series. I love this sketchbook. Love it because I can use it for paints, I can use it for watercolors, pens, markers, um, pencil, anything that I want to. It's great paper, it's stiff paper. I've done so much stuff and I'll um, have some of my art. I don't want to show y'all now. But I'll have some of my art in the um, at the end of this video. I might pop it up randomly. You never know. It might be a surprise. But this is one of my first. This is my favorite mixed media um, sketchbook. And I have another one, just in a different size. But same exact sketchbook, just different sizes. My next favorite sketchbook. Well, it's not really a sketchbook, but I use it. I love taking neon flashcards and using them as sketchbooks. They're great because you can use it for calligraphy. On one side, if you're doing hand lettering, you can practice it on this side. And on the other side, you can draw because it's blank. So these are great if you want to do some small art. Talking about small art, you can also get a small sketchbook. This is the Strathmore sketch paper in the series 300. Now, I love this. I have a very small one and I have big ones at home. I just did not bring them because I am not in my house right now. Um, I am actually at my grandma and papa's house. So, another one, another sketchbook that I love. I'm going to save my favorite for last. But my favorite sketch, one of my favorite sketchbooks, it's the Series 400 Strathmore Sketchbook Paper Book. And I love it. I haven't used it that much, but I love it because it's for, it's nice. It's very good quality paper. It's softer, not softer, but you know, it's like, it's smoother, um, so it's great for sketching. And then my favorite of all time sketchbook, or just drawing book, is the Strathmore 400 series toned tan paper. Now this is great if you do cartoons, like I do mostly cartoons and letter hand lettering. And I love this paper because it can make your images pop. Um, it's great because you can take an, a white line and put a white line around your art and make it pop even more. And I'm still learning. So, and another, if you want a great YouTuber that shows you a lot about tone tan, uh, tone tan paper, um, is Dramatic Parrot. I'll put her down in the description below because she's great, um, and I've learned a lot from her. Most of my stuff is recommended by her, also. Like the Strathmore 300 series watercolor paper. That's great also. Now, I love my favorite pens in the entire world are Micron pens. I have not tried Prismacolor um, pens. I think Copic makes some pens. I might be wrong on that. Um, but Micron is really good. I really, really good. Is that right? I don't know. But I love these pens. Um, you can get them in a ton of different sizes. I got a pack of them. It's like a pack of eight. Yeah, it's a pack of eight, um, and it comes with a brush, um, a brush marker, and then pen sizes all the way from 005 to 1. And these are great for lining artwork or just doing doodles. They're great. Um, I'm going to show you all something that I did with my brush marker. Let me find a sketchbook. So I have practiced a lot with this pen. I practiced, oof, I practiced this, and I practiced with this, and this, and then that, and that, and I also 
did a page registered um, letters and lowercase and uppercase and then I wrote my name at the bottom and so this is great just to refer to to look at um, how letters can be in brush script and it's great um, so that's enough about micron another great thing to have is a color wheel this is by dollar Rowney. I use this all the time just to get the right colors that I want um, some other great Sharpie uh, pens are the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point, and I have them in different colors, like I have it in purple, I have it in a fuchsia color, I have it navy blue, orange, blue, green, aqua, black, and they also have like a hot pink one somewhere. Love those. Those are great if you just want to put a little color in some doodles. Um, great markers are the Reflection markers. Um, I have a white one, a gold one, and a silver one, and they're fantastic. I love them. The white one works really well. Just don't get other colors on it because it is white, and so it will ruin your marker because my marker is almost completely ruined. And then um, one of my favorite things to sketch with, if we can get out, is this mechanical pencil by Papermate. Um, it has a grip on the bottom. The push thing is on the side, not on the top, and then it has three erasers that it comes with and an entire pack of lead. Um, I love this. I use it all the time. I actually broke it um, because I leaned on a car, but I just took some super glue and the super glue really stuck it back together. Super glue works, y'all. It's crazy. Um, that's it for that. Oh, also, I like thick Sharpies too. I have a neon orange one and a black one. But another thing that you really want to get are some graphite pencils. I do not get fancy graphite pencils. Just let me go there. I get the $5 pack at Michael's because it's great. And these are Artist Loft um, graphite pencils and they're great. They have a ton of different shades. Well, I guess they're not shades. I guess they're like soft. The hardness and softness. They have a ton of variety of those. And I just love those. I use them on my sketches a lot. Um, I started out with drawing different size like basketballs and soccer balls because those are pretty easy to do shadowing and realism on and then that's really it for all my stuff. And another great thing to get is a $5 bag at uh, um, what's it called? Michaels. Because I use this all the time. I love it. And so yeah that's Oh, forgot one more thing. Now, if you want some very good, very, very good colored pencils, these are pretty expensive. The more you get, the more expensive they become. But Prismacolor Softcore Colored Pencils are a cartoonist's best friend. So are Cupcake markers, but those are markers. I don't have my Cupcakes with me, but I love Cupcake also. But Prismacolor Colored Pencils are great. You want to make sure you get the Softcore if you like to blend them. Because one time I got, it wasn't called a hard, it wasn't, I don't know what it was called. It was something. But you want to make sure you get soft core. It doesn't say soft core on here, but it says Prismacolored Colored Pencils Smooth Rich Lay Down. So you want to get the smooth and rich lay down. Yep. That's all it is, is the smooth and rich lay down. So I love these, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. And I use them on a lot of my art. And so now you get to see some pictures of my art that I love. And so here you go. And yeah, pictures of my art right here. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below and also hit that subscribe button while you're at it because why not? It's, it's great. I'm waiting for you to press it. You haven't pressed it yet. Okay, fine. Take your time. Anyways, if you want to comment down below what you want me to do next, I might not do it. I'm sorry if I don't, but if I do, you're welcome.
But if I don't, sorry. Anyway, I will see y'all later, and um, I don't really have a scheduled time on putting up videos. This is like my third or fourth video on YouTube. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like it, and goodbye.